Howdy, welcome to Beaver Mountain Works. On this short educational video, we're going to be talking about measuring your knife that you want to send us a template for for a knife sheath you want to have manufactured. And let's uh, first talk about uh, the pancake knife sheath. And if you want to know more about that, then check out whichever side there's a little thing going to be popping up there that tells you where to go see uh, our video on that. So what you need to have is uh, some type of a writing instrument, a um, piece of cardboard. Uh, cereal boxes work fantastic. They're better than a, a piece of paper. You take the knife that you have, uh, make sure it's unloaded. <laughs> so, the so what we need you to do is lay it in the position of however you're gonna, if you're gonna be drawing it from your right or left, whichever position it is, the outside end that you want. Some people like to have it this way, so when they draw it out this way, um, some people like to have it this way because when they draw it out, they pull it out different. Some people pull it out from this way. So whichever direction that you're going to want to have it pulled out from, we're front to rear, as in this example you can see here. This would be this would be to the rear. <clears throat> when you set it on your piece of cardboard to template, make sure you put it in that position. So, and then this is going to be the, the rear here, and this will be the front end right here in that direction. So what we need to do is place it down and then you're just going to take your writing instrument and as close as you can to the edge of it, you want to make sure you're as close as possible to the item. Make sure it's square. So you place it in like that. You can see here, it's a nice little bit of a template. Double check, make sure everything is good. You don't want to have something that's too fat here because then it's going to make the line a little bit too big. And then also on the side of that, if you can, we need to have the profile of it this way for the width so we know how wide it is. And that gives us a, a profile of the width coming up and down. So we know how wide that's going to be and we know the length here. And we basically need this. This is the top here. I can actually spell upside down. So that would be on this one here for a pancake. If you're going to go for another type of knife, uh, we'd have to discuss how it's going to fit on your belt. But in order to do the basic, we ask you to do a line straight across where the blade meets the handle. And then you'll do exactly the same thing. the handle meets the handle <clears throat> if it's uh, a single blade not a double blade we also need to know whether or not you want to have it this direction with the blade pointing backwards or forward make sure you let us know that <clears throat> and then what we need to know is also do you want the the actual blade to be only hidden or do you want to have it higher up over and if you want to have it higher up past the front guard portion then we need to have a mark indicated how high you want it if not then we know that it's going to be at the actual where they meet together and then the width wise the same thing here it's a little bit more difficult I need to have the blade width turn this sideways like this do the blade width like this so we know the thickness of the blade and do and do the handle profile like this. And then we have a cat in the video. Now we have a cat video. Look at that. Cool. Get more people checking it out. She's actually just messing with the camera. Uh-huh. Typical cat. So, and, th and that would be then, so we have a profile of it, so we understand what it is. I hope this has helped you out, giving you some ideas of what we require if we're going to be doing a custom knife sheath for you, and we don't have your actual blade here with us. And uh, if you have any other questions, give us a shout. BeaverMountainWorks.com. You dream it, you, we make it. Don't forget to subscribe.